everybody nerdigans this is the one only packer girl 89 and today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for world trigger chapters 192 and 193 so uh last chapter basically uh kuga took um down obashima and um tamakoma too we only need two more points we only need two more points and then we're uh we're done with the rank battles so uh, let's get to chapter 192 and see what happens next. Here we go. Tamakoma, um, Tamakoma's ace takes the point. He took down Ichin Obashima with a new combo move. And chapter 192 is titled um, uh, Masataka uh, Ninomiya Part 3. First, you meet the Blade Swerve before uh, setting up Grasshoppers uh, to bounce it around like a pinball. That was a brutal attack. Grasshopper can only reflect physical objects while it's canceled out by Trion Bullets. In this case, uh, she could have shot um, at the Grasshoppers to dispel them. But plenty of people don't know about that, so it's unsurprising that it turned out this way. Uh, did anyone know besides you, uh, you Karachi? And what about the curving, bl curving blade itself? How do, um, how do we think he managed that? I have some thoughts on that as well, uh, which you should save for later. Uh, let's take uh, a gander at um, Yuba's predicament. Uh, Captain Yuba uh, hopes of reuniting with the, uh, with the squad or Dash. He's up against all three members of Nino Mia squad. I will corner him with the uh, Hornet when he's worn, uh, worn down, um, finish him off. This is Anukai, roger that. The B-rank number one squad is about to attack together. This is Suji, understood. Damn it, Inukai, did you already forget what you said a minute ago about Tomokomo roaming uh, free? Fire Meteor! Yes! Go, Chica, go, Chica, go, Chica! I'm so proud. I'm glad Chica is doing her thing. This is good. Uh, bombs, fire, uh, bombs from the east. Hornet! Uh-oh. Agent Amatori launches a meteor from the east, and Captain Inomiya fires back with mixed bullets. With no other snipers left, Chica's free to blast away. Go, go, get him! Yes! Yes! I'm so proud of Chica. I'm so proud of her. Um, another fun point um, about uh, Tamakoma joining the battle is how awesome it was actually right in the midst of it all. I, uh, I know, right? He stuck it in after Kai went down. Listen, Chica, split the next uh, one into 27 segments, um, but wait for my signal, okay? Got it. You should expect more explosives. Well, well, sure, all their enemies are gathered in one spot. And if Nino Mia is occupied uh, shooting down those bombs, this could get tricky. Inukai, Suji, deal with the bombs as much as possible. Yuba is mine. Roger, roger. Very well. Oh, this fight is going to be good. I thought we were going to get um, uh, um, uh, Kuga versus Yuba, but this works too. Uh, will this be a showdown between captains? One-on-one -on -one against Yuba? Uh, Nino Mia is looking to crush him. Agent Inukai is now on bomb disposal duty, but counting, um, countering every last blast will not be easy for him. Meanwhile, will Captain Yuba accept this Accept this duel? He, he could always take advantage of the explosions and make a tactical retreat. Hmm, that's tough, but I don't think Yuba will cut and run. Um, he's gone from three gone from three opponents to just one. Those are far more favorable uh, odds for him. And if Yuba uh, changes the tactics now, Tamakoma might go after him too. He's probably thinking this is the best chance he'll get. I don't like our odds going after Yuba or Ninomiya. We should target a new Kai. Here we go, Chica. Fire! Okay. Um, more than last time. Oh yeah, more than last time. Chica, Chica is stepping up her game. If any uh, slip through my net, uh, stop, uh, stop him with a remote shield for me, Suji. I can handle about three. Oh shit. Captain Yuba char uh, charges in. He attempts to use the wall to cover uh, as cover to get close. Yuba styles a non-starter if he can't uh, can't get close, but he's also at a disadvantage for direct attacks. However, it's difficult for Nino Mia to switch to full attack mode amidst all these explosions. Great, Chica, fire off another volley and then get moving. Got it. What's this? Uh, firing some hound shots. The shots way up high. Curving his shot to reach over the walls? No, that that's not it. Um, he'll use the lag time of these of uh, those hound shots uh, before they come raining down to fire off a two pronged attack with with one hand. Meteor, even more this time. Bombs incoming. He shifted his stance to counter. Oh shit! What? Blocked by Suji. It's it's Miku it's Mikumo. I expected Kuga. Oh shit! Yeah, this is not this is getting crazy. Ooh, you, 
two. That was a nice block by Yuba. Shit. Bullets and reserves. Yuba saw it coming. Damn straight he did. 20 meters away. Um, Captain Yuba has pierced the storm of bullets. Uh, the explosions uh, forced Ninomiya to resort to a broader shield. And with that gap, he's in Yuba's range. Oh, shit. So, so close. So, so close. But this is my win. Oh, shit. He got Yuba. Ninomiya got him. Oh, shit. I'm kind of sad because I really wanted to see Yuba versus um uh versus uh, uh Kuga really really bad. But anyway, let's get to chapter 193. Uh, try on body limit exceeded. Bail out. I really thought they said it was gonna set it up for Yuba versus uh um uh Kuga. This sucks. In this duel between captains, Zeno Mia squad emerged on top. Only two squads remain. This will be a three-on-three -three showdown. So this uh, chapter 193 is titled uh, Masataka uh, Ninomiya Part 4. What just happened? Captain Yuba appeared to make it past the storm of bullets only to be cut down by a wave from above? I'm thinking that Ninomiya um, uh, shot two groups of hound bullets at uh, different heights to create a delay between the moment, moments of impact. That was pretty goddamn smart. It's like an outdoors-only um, version of uh, Houston's delayed, uh, delayed shots from round 7. Incredible! This gives us a glimpse at how, just how skilled Captain Inomiya really is. So what you're saying is Captain Yuba's explosive power was no match for Captain Inomiya's technical talents. Things might, might have turned out different if uh, Okushima had survived that long, uh, that long though. Uh, because when it comes to one-on-one -on -one fights, Yuba always feels uh, compelled uh, to step up to the challenge. This match is taking quite a turn. Um, it's taking a quiet, I'm worrying slash shit. This match is taking a quiet turn. Both squads are taking time to re retreat and regroup. Unlike Tamakoma, which is employing backworms, uh, Nina Mia's squad, uh, stands boldly out in the open, as if to say, take your best shot. Ooh. Captain Nina Mia blasts some bill billings with Meteor. Uh, Tamakoma still needs to get two more points, so he wants to wait for them in a wide open space. Uh, he's just, uh, that wary of Yuma's, uh, killer wire moves. Um, so, uh, they're sit they're sitting ducks now? Nino Mia squad, Nino Mia squad's gonna be open, and Amatori sniping in bombs. I'm sure Nino Mia has taken that into consideration. With fewer opponents on the field, Nino Mia squad has much more wiggle room. It'll be harder for Amatori to shoot at them in unexpected ways. Plus, if she can't guarantee that her attacks, uh, will cause damage, then all she's done is give away her position. Um, it's just like OG implied. Nino Mia wants Amatori, uh, to attack and give herself away. But it, besides having little Amatori blast away all day... What other moves has Tamakoma even got? She needs to actually snipe. She needs to actually use her sniper rifle now. No more bombs. She gotta snipe now. I mean, what sort of strategy strategies have Four Eyes and his guys even used? Um, they focus the firepower via Chika and Hiyose and put together combo moves with Yuma and, Yuma and Hiyose. But Hiyose isn't around anymore, so what now? Asuma will have to assume Hiyose's role. That could be a challenge. The wire setup is a poor match... Um, a poor match against Ninomiya and his meteors. Not to mention the obvious massive gap in skill and experience. True, but I think Asumu himself knows that better than anyone. Looks like a stalemate for the time being. I wish I brought something to drink. Well, until this match gets uh, moving again, can I take this time to ask a question? It seems like Captain Ninomiya is using a pretty rare type of synthetic bu uh, synthesized bullets. Yes, he mixed uh, hound bullets to create Hornet. That's, that's the one, um, Hornet. As I'm sure many of us um, are only seeing Hornet for the first time. Would you mind breaking it down for us, Agent uh, Karachi? Of, of course, but before speaking about Hornet, we have to discuss Hound itself. To start with, Hound bullets don't always um, home in on the opponent. The user can um, uh, set how strong that homing propensity is with each attack. By fiddling with these settings, one can achieve that mountain-like arc we witnessed earlier. If one were to fire with the homing propensity at max, the bullet, uh, bullets would all zero in on the target, making them easily blocked by a fo uh, focused shield. So you see, adjusting that homing propensity depending on context is critical if one wants to utilize Hound correctly. Meanwhile, Hornet strengthens that homing factor. Hornet um, shots can curve in ways Hound shots can't, allowing them to swerve around at sharp angles as they pursue the target. Nina Mia uh, can also modify the homing propensity and adjust the traje trajectory, such as when he cornered Agent Oki earlier. That makes for an attack that's incredibly hard to evade. And that, and what's especially scary about Nina Mia this time around is that those nasty mixed bullets of his are just the distraction. You're feeling relieved about uh, su surviving Hornet only to have uh, Sushi sp spring out um, 
uh, from the shadows. Nina Mia's using those bullets to manipulate his opponents. I see. This reminds me. Uh, uh, this reminds me of Captain Kako's commentary in uh, round four. Those hounds are designed to force the opponent to move. She said something like that, right? Back in um, A rank, uh, he just used to bulldoze through with firepower. That was a strong approach. But now that he's dropped to B rank, Nina Mia is somehow um, an even tougher customer, especially in team battles. That's how I see it, anyway. Uh, naturally, wielding Hound as, w as well as Captain Nino Mia does is no small thing. So anyone hoping to attempt it should uh, begin by thinking, what's the best homing setting for the situation? The max homing propensity I mentioned can, can if one has an overwhelming trial advantage, actually uh, shatter the uh, opponent's shield. Uh huh. Which tells us, which tells us that Amatori can't aim at people. Uh, which why would why would you conclude that? Think about when she sh uh, shot at uh, Tanuka. If she kept her shots focused instead of all scattered, she could have smashed his shield and earned a point, right? That's what you think! That's what you think! She's actually an accurate sniper when she's not freaking out! She could, could do it! Maybe the building blocked her line of sight in the moment. In the, blocked her li line of sight in the moment? Huh? You playing dumb? Sheesh! In any case, I'm feeling relieved. After her first big blast failed, I was sure her performance was going to suffer. But as of now, Chica is still ready and willing to fight. See? You motherfuckers be underestimating Chica. You're underestimating her. Chica can do it. It's going to come down to her sniper. Her, it's not coming down to bombs, as they were saying. It's going to come down to her sniper, her, uh, sniper shooting. And she's going to, I hope she has a silencer or something. Because they got to be silent, silent. Those bullets. Uh, they don't appear to be making a move. Uh, trying to run out. Trying to run out the clock. You think? No. They will come. We only need to wait. I'm in position. Uh, good. Good. Kuga. I'm ready whenever. Here we go. The final showdown. Yes. Finally. Okay. So next chapter is the. Uh, uh, it's either going to be next chapter or within the. I should worry. Holy shit. Within the next couple of chapters, we're going to finish this rank battle. I can't wait to see how it goes down. Um. I'm hoping that that Chica's shooting that Chica's gonna be the MVP of uh, this rank battle. Please, Chica needs this shit. She really, really does. Um, uh, I'm I'm really looking forward to chapter 194. It's gonna be so good. I can't wait to see what Chica does. I can't wait to see it because she's uh, because now now that there's no one else to distract them, she she's gonna be able to keep her mark, but. I, I like what they said. Everyone was, uh, I like what they were saying at the near the end of the chapter when they were trying to bring Chica down. And someone pointed out, you know, Chica's confidence could have been like broken when uh, you know she missed her first shot. Nah, she's still fine. She's still going. She's her confidence hasn't been shot. But yes, the final showdown is coming. Anyway, let me know uh, your thoughts in the comment section below. What you guys. Uh, thought of these chapters um, do you got and uh, what do you guys think the final strategy is going to be here um, and do you guys do you guys think um, what the commentary the, com the commentators are saying is gonna be accurate where uh, Osamu is, um, is gonna be I probably but um, oh, fuck I butchered his name Ugh, fuck it a Uh, yeah, oh, I said it right. Where Asamu is going to be, I, I knew I had his name right. Where Asamu is going to have to play the Hiyose role. And uh, do you think he's going to be able to do it? That's going to be the real question. Uh, I hope he kind of, I hope he surprises us and does it. Uh, let, uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment um, section below. Uh, what you guys think. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Nerdican Zink if you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more World Trigger content. There's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon. Go find me, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist stall that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, find me on PlayStation Network, that's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later.